techniques that you can use to extract cannabinoids and terpenes and plant material. Um, CO2, super critical or liquid CO2 is one of them. There are lots of others um, that fall into the category of hydrocarbons. Uh, that includes butane, propane, heptane. Lots of other things are also hydrocarbons, gasoline for instance. Um, but of course we don't want to use those for things that we are going to be taking orally. Um, so the difference mainly is in the specificity of the molecules that it will ultimately d dissolve out of the plant material. Um, and there are, are pros and cons to both. Uh, butane actually gets a fuller terpene profile um, and is faster. Um, but ultimately you do need to get rid of the solvents at the, at the end. The nice thing with CO2 is all you do is reduce the pressure and it, it reverts back to a gas. And then we re-pressurize it and put it back into our recycler. So we do use a lot of our CO2 more than once. Um, and there's no residual solvent there at the end. Um, when, what, once it comes out of the machine, the CO2 is gone. Um, with other types of hydrocarbons, the, those solvents are also relatively easy to remove. Um, and they've gotten a lot, like a bad reputation um, in recent history. Um, and I think one of the main reasons for that is that butane is really easy to get cheap and dirty. And the butane itself is not necessarily harmful. It's whatever might come with the butane that once you dissolve or uh, once you concentrate all of that down, um, then the contaminants can also be concentrated and that might be a problem. Um, but clean, pure, medical grade butane is a great solvent for cannabis. Um, and butane itself, whatever small bits might be left over, um, is essentially harmless when you vape it. Um, so this sort of, I don't know what I want to call it, demonization or chemophobia around hydrocarbons is somewhat uh, unnecessary. Um, it's very easy to do it safely and correctly and cleanly, um, but people in the past who were on the black market or didn't know what they were doing um, or doing things in a cheap and dirty way um, have you know, given it a bad reputation. So ultimately, um, you know, there are small differences on a molecular level of the things that these different solvents will dissolve. Um, you can use cold ethanol as well as a pretty good solvent. Um, and that, that is being used more and more as well. Uh, so, so yeah, I think one of the main reasons we like the CO2 is for worker safety. Um, there's way less risk of accidents happening, dangerous accidents happening. Um, ultimately, CO2 is very safe and it's gone by the time the extract comes out of the machine.